Hey, what's going on everybody? This is the VG Pierce. I'll be coming at you with a gameplay review of Solstice Chronicles MIA. It's going to be developed by the people of Iron Ward. And so this is a tactical shooter in which players control the difficulty by managing their threat level through special skills. You'll be a corporate marine who is left far behind enemy lines with an unlikely help of an insurgent drone. You'll have to battle for survival against an army of murderous mindless mutants and other worse things. And definitely guys, this is a game in which it does take a little bit of handling to actually get used to. And I definitely recommend you playing on, say, an Xbox controller because all the little controls is going to be very difficult to manage. I will say on these menu screens, I do have the advantage of having mouse and keyboard to navigate my way through. But without it, if you're just using the control pad, it's a little bit difficult to go through the menus without actually using your mouse control pad. So I'm going to pick the story mode here, and I see I already have a profile there with my guy. And actually I can go and select my profile, or I can actually make a new profile, and I can choose what type of combat suit I'll have. So then I can make a demolition, a hellfire, and the nice thing here is that the hellfire will always have a flamethrower as a secondary weapon. And here the demolitions, I'll have lots of special explodies that I can use. And later on I can unlock the terminator class. But for right now, we're going to use the Assault class, basically the Balanced Attack class for your game. And I played quite a good bit already, all of these here, and I definitely recommend playing through Soldier Mode because it can have spikes of difficulty in which you may or may not be prepared for. And especially if you're going to be starting out, but later on, yeah, definitely try it on Veteran and even Aetherden Mode. Right now, there's no multiplayer online, but you can play multiplayer locally. Although I have read that one can use the control pad while the other one might be stuck using the mouse and keyboard. But first, let's just go ahead and just start right there in the midst of battle. Right over here. I'm going to start this up. I could have a start anywhere, but Looks definitely. Like I'm just going to start right here because why not? Yeah. I know this area. And we are going to be There's a workshop through. nearby. Yeah, I know this area. There's a there. workshop okay, nearby. Lead the way. Oh, man. And this, this is a tutorial objective. So I can use my guns or I can actually use my melee here. And definitely you want to use the melee as much as you can without dying. The nice thing is, is that you will go and respawn your health after a while. So not a big deal if you get hit by little bitty peons like those. And here I can get this here added to my submachine guns and some, let's see here, and some ammo and all the while I can go and sprint. I can grab up these explosive barrels and walk with them, <laughs> and then I can just throw them if I need to. There we go. Oh, I gotta watch out though. There is friendly fire, and you can't hurt yourself, so definitely watch out for that. And they are appearing, so let's go ahead and take these guys out. Ooh, looks like I'm going to get a shotgun. So there are all kinds of loads of different types of weapons you can have. And I have my submachine gun. And the nice thing about the submachine gun is it's already on burst fire. Yeah, looks nice. Can go and pick up some stuff while you are shooting. That's a nice thing here. Don't take that. Don't you come freaking near me. Got something for you. I'm going to take that. Later on, I can actually beef up my assault and make it to where I have a what is it, a melee kind of claw-like weapon. So that's always really nice. I'm gonna blow that barrel up, but it looks like I missed. I'm gonna do this the old-fashioned way now. Shoot him up myself. Not exactly the idea. Let's go ahead and just. Switch the shotgun. There we go. I was waiting until we get a little bit up close and personal to take them out. And they will take out the line. Nice thing is that this thing does aim for you a little bit, so not a big deal for you to actually handle. Might want to go to these places. Now you can press A and it will show you a little directional thing where to go. And that's a nice thing if you get a little bit lost, but you kind of want to go off the unbeaten path a little bit to maybe get some supplies and it looks like here target uh, target finder is fully charged okay okay well then let's go ahead and move along 
Alright, so you can do some extracurricular stuff. I can fire off some flares, but I'm not going to do it right now because the nice thing about the flare is that it will take the attention of the enemy like that. So there you go. They're actually kind of moving towards the flare. I can just kind of skip these guys if I actually wanted to. But why do that? Let's kill some baddies. <laughs> and right now they're kind of going a little bit slow. It's not a big deal, but... Much later on, they will come and swarm you. Look. A wrecked it's drone. Move over here to you, it's a wrecked stuff. drone. To me, it's an upgrade. See this pallet up a bit. See if anything right. useful is left lying scout. around. Now that's my drone there that I can use to send out on things. And the nice thing is that they always give you a little tutorial. Right, and as long as I stay in this circle, then I'll get like little drops, and that's going to be oh, great. Threat level extreme. It's going to melee those guys. I mean. What's it matter, right? Let's take that bad guy. Nice. It's just like that. Let's take it. Just take a little bit. Ooh, I got a vindicator. Nice. So these are the special guns that I can have. It has a very finite amount of uses, but when you do use them, what awesome power! To behold. Pick these up. Alright, I got my ammo full. And that's added to my slow machine gun. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and... Boom! Oh, oh. oh no, oh no, no. Oh no. Oh no. They're beating me up. They're beating me up. I'm a little bit too close. I, I think that's the bad thing about having this Vindicator though. <laughs> Once I charge it up. Ah, 9,000 and it blows everything up in a big old radius. It's pretty darn cool. Right, let's go ahead and move up. We're gonna wait, we're gonna wait, we're gonna wait, we're gonna wait. Ooh. Nice. Okay. I'm gonna just drop it. Just start using my real gun. So I got the Vindicator. Not exactly the best thing to get actually right here. I'm getting a little bit swarmed right now. Nice. Oh, get out the fire. Burns! Barrels save my bullets. Leave that guy alone for now. Let's see what's over here. Ugh, this place is nightmare fuel. Ah, a mini gun. Great. Yes, yes, I am. So we, and then we get some bullets. Some bullets for my troubles. And now I got a mini gun. Ah, uh, a nice thing about mini gun is that it burns through the enemies. I'll walk through here. Mm. Twin stick shooter. I'm always looking for a good time for twin stick shooters. Take the guy out. Just, just one guy left. Very good. Oh, block. So this is all for my drone right there. Now I can make it to where Saffron, my little drone there, can do different cool little things. And there's the block thing there. And now that thing that's coming and creeping up on me will be blocked and can't actually move through. So that's kind of cool. So that's what the insurgency's up to these days. <laughs> Spray painting. Oh, right. yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh. Still got my minigun. Alright, let's take him out. Whoa, that was that big bane man.
<laughs> oh, and that's another nice thing too. The more you use a weapon, the more that you will go and level it up, so it's pretty cool. So if you have some lo loyalties towards a particular weapon, then you will be rewarded. Like going through my block. Come on, bridge. Why are the bridges always take so long to get over? Alright, we're gonna get to this checkpoint right here. And yes, this is this is pretty fun, I'd say. I mean, totally worth it right here. Yeah, I mean, it's an action game and definitely there are lots of different things that can happen in this game and will. Oh, get away. Go ahead and throw the flare there. Stupid bailing! Look at that, actually. Ah! Uh, jumping at me. I'm down to half health. Oh, what is that big, ugly thing? That Great, I grabbed up some health. Oh, a ghost rifle. Nice. Nice, now it's automatic fire instead of a stupid burst fire. Who wants that noise? I don't know. Let me go after my little flare, guys. Eat my bullets. Nice. Gun down, boys. Dropping them. I'll get this oh, boy. Here. See if you can open the door. And they have some really neat things. It's not just limited to a twin, twin stick shooting type of game. Story's got some kind of unique perks to it, you know, they're kind of joking with each other. And they got some very unique monsters in this game. And if you've played the Red Souls before, then it's all going to be monsters that you've seen before. But, I mean, it's just some beautiful stuff there. There's my Reaper turret. Ugh, look at the carnage. I love it. Ugh. You want some of this? Huh? You too? Nice, and you do get more and more threat meter, but of course the more you wipe out, then the less of a threat these guys are. Yeah, there is friendly fire here, so I can use that Reaper Turk can uh, totally kick my butt if I'm not careful. Crap, it's over here. Oh no! Ugh, oh, what oh, is no. that? That's beautiful. Oh man. All right, so here is what I'm talking about. Oh man. Not only is this just an action twin stick shooter, but you can also go and level up your stuff. Now, this is all the stuff that I have already. Again, the mouse and keyboard makes it to where I can just hover over it. I'm not exactly sure. Right here, I'm using my control pad, and as you can see on the right side there, I'm moving it up and down. It, it doesn't tell me exactly what it is, but if I use my mouse and keyboard, it tells me exactly what it is. So, I kind of don't know how it looks on Xbox 360 on PS4, but definitely... If it's anything like this, hopefully it will pop up for you. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't know how to tell you. You may not know what's going on. So yeah, I can add chance to put fire in, fire an explosive bullet. Inflicts area damage to the shot. And here, adds a chance that a fire bullet will be poisoned, slowing down enemies and causing additional 
damage over time and it provides damage reduction. Here's my energy blade that I was talking about before. I get energy blade plus 20% and it's always going to be useful because you, you are probably going to get meleeed a lot of times. Increase the amount of skill supplies a marine can carry. So some pretty good stuff here and I have 4 points right now. Chance for weapon upgrade and I can upgrade my drone as well as picking what kind of guns that I want to have in there. So these are all the different kind of guns that I get later on. So lots of fun here. Health 1000, speed 500. And uh, you can also play it on survival mode as well. So this is a story mode but you can do it on just survival and just try to play it for as long as possible. But here I am at the ETF Tech Labs. Let's, let's just see how this goes. I have not played ETF Tech Lab. Let's go ahead and do that real quick light. I got the light machine gun and my gauss rifle going so let's go ahead and do that and jump into it all right uh, like i said i have not played this so let's go in there and like i said you press a and it gives me a little directional let's go ahead and switch to my gauss rifle the lmg has some big bullets but Woohoo! Directional right there. <laughs> but yeah, it's just uh, waste a lot of bullets, to say the least. So. And look at that, I hit a light. Boom! Makes an impressive explosive. So lots of environmental effects as well. Uh, get that out of there. Who needs these lights? I don't need these lights. It just makes them easier for... Makes, makes it easier for them to see me, I think. Oh, ventilation staff. Nice, nice. Let's go ahead and pump this up. Uh oh, and immediately I got some high threats here. Look at that, my bullet actually stunned me. Oh no. Okay, so I'm just gonna get blocked here. Get myself out a little bit. Let's take out that bang on me. here so that is a bit of a tactical thing that you can think about here is that should you go and use that thing to help make it to where it's a lot more difficult to hit you or should I call the scout out and then get ammo because I might need it <laughs> looks like I am gonna need it though Go ahead and use this bomb right there. Use it. Boom. And if I'm in that radius, I will get nuked. I will nuke myself, so definitely want to watch out for that. I'm gonna change my light machine gun and pump them full of bullets. And as you can see, it's really kicking its butt right there, and that's why the LMG really rocks, but not necessarily for these little guys here, it's kind of a waste. Alright, awesome. Oh, good job. I'm really running out of bullets here, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna. Oh, look, there's actually some stuff here. Let's go ahead and grab it up. Get some bullets. Nice. Again. Melee saves lives. You do regenerate a little bit of health, so again, if they touch you a little bit, it's not a big deal. Right, so I'm going to use my scout. And she'll drop off a bunch of stuff. Now, the, the more you use it, the less stuff you get. But, if I wait a long time and use it, then she'll drop a whole bunch of stuff. Thank you, Saffron. Thank you. 
out. Nice. Can I, I got an auto cannon. Nice. So it's shooting explosive bullets. So basically, one hit. Kind of just kicking butt. Nice. Oh man, oh man. Perhaps I waited too long to get this drop because he's dropping me all kinds of stuffs. Oh man. Back in here. Oh shoot. I'm really, I'm really dying here. Oh no! I might die, guys! <laughs> it's Solstice Semi A Chronicles! Not just. Oh. Uh, okay, I know there's some. Oh, I just got some help. Uh. Alright, switch to my LMG. Let's light him up. Okay, good thing I still got all this stuff left here so I can get some ammo. Nice. <laughs> Woo! Love that. Oh! That dude. You better hurry. There it is. Activate, Activate the ventilation system. Oh, just a piece of module I've lost in the pit. Does it do anything useful? Like I said, you almost always want to just go parts. and uh ooh, wired explosive. Drone pickup. that do? What does that do? Alright, there we go. Ventilation system here. Again, the threat meter changes. Threat level extreme. Crap. Wrong button. Got myself. I was clearly out of the green. Ugh. That's it. Seems 
to the LMG. No! Forgot to reload! Like I said though, this thing definitely could have used a online multiplayer. <coughs> I will definitely say that. Open, god damn it, open, open. Run, run if you know what's good for you. Oh, we got 50 bullets. Do it, boy. Train's coming through. That's it. It's all my bullets. I'm on fire. Ah, uh, so dead. Ah. <laughs> What is that? Woo! They laid him to death. Ooh, bullets. I need it. What's that do? What is this wired explosive? Elevator. Oh, the wired explosive is like a thing. Okay. Stay heck. Stay back behind it. It's my last hoorah. One percent. Sit, man, sit. Elevator. <laughs> Get him. Ah, that one jumped through. No. 
Come on. Let's go. Oh my god. I made it. Woo. <laughs> Thanks for joining me, guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed this review right here. Solstice Chronicles MIA. Loads of fun. And uh, not too heavy on the action. That's right. Well, actually, loads of heaviness on the action. This is it. If you guys haven't already, please subscribe, like my videos, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time.